a pleasure promoting this this young man. It's been a pleasure promoting this this guy right here. He's a true blood and guts warrior. And every fight you've ever seen from this this guy, he's given 110% of himself. And tonight he fought one of the great fighters of all time, who fought like one of the great fighters of all time. I mean, this was a tremendous performance by Loma. Anybody who, including myself, who was wondering whether <clears throat> Loma was starting to get, you know, uh, long on the tooth or, or, or whether he had passed his prime. I think tonight was a brilliant performance by a brilliant fighter. And you saw this young man give everything he had until he couldn't any longer. And sometimes you just get hurt and that's it. You got to go on and you got to live your life. He's got a family he's got to go home to. Um, I'm so proud of him and I'm so thankful for the opportunity. I've had to come to Australia time and again and to work with a wonderful guy like this. Thank you, Liv. How are you, Liv? Yeah, um, here we are again. Obviously, not as planned. We wanted to win this fight. We prepared extraordinary. There's not one bit I can look back and say we did that wrong. As my coach Anton said, clean tail. It was a clean tail, and um, I've got to give credit to, to my team. My coach, Anton, put in a lot of work, a lot of months. Uh, Ramon came in as well the last few weeks, and uh, my father, manager, Jim Cambosis, behind the scenes, incredible work. My promoter, Lou DeBella, DeBella, DeBella Entertainment. Um, everything was, was perfect. And everything was perfect in the first few rounds. You know, we, we did very good. We stuck to the game plan. And then, uh, fortunately, the, the fight started to change. I uh, remember, I think, around four or five, he uh, did catch me with a bit of a shot in the back of that side of the equilibrium. Kind of did buzz me and uh, kind of, yeah, started to change things around in the fight game. So, you know, I, I stepped to the best, like I said, in the ring. I'm a mold of the old school, the Toro Gaddis, the Mickey Wards, and um, I'm a blood and guts warrior. You know, I, I leave it all in the line. I didn't want to get stopped. I, I wanted to get back up, but um, Ref and, and obviously my father, you know, always look after, you know, the, the fighter. And, um, you know, I've got a family, I've got three kids, and, you know, I've got to go back to them and, and show them that dad's still here, dad's still healthy. and. You know, Cambos is a good talker, so <laughs> we don't want to be slurring our words. Um, Lomachenko, what can I say? True champion, a legend of this sport. One of the best amateurs of all time. One of the best fighters in history. And um, he deserved his moment tonight. He deserved the belts. Um, you know, it is what it is. But again, I, I, I'm proud of, you know, Cambosis and, and a guy from Sydney, Australia. You know, with, you know, 100 amateur fights. You know, went over and took over the world and, and became undisputed, won all the belts, and then went straight to the deep and fought the best of the best. And again, we picked up another belt and we went, okay, Lomachenko, let's make this fight happen. And you can ask Lou, myself and my father, pushing so hard for that fight. And it shows the kind of warrior I am, the kind of mentality I have. And every round, you know, in that fight, team kept asking, you okay, you good? I'm a warrior, keep going. Until That's probably I, George's problem. Huh? Until, so I, couldn't, time, until, I, until I couldn't give any anymore. Um, but it's okay. Live to fight another day, and we'll see what's next. But for now, um, you know, I'm proud to sell out another beautiful stadium, and we've done so much, you know, for Australian boxing, and you know, it's not finished yet. Any questions? <laughs> or maybe I gave everything there. <laughs> At the start, oh, a perfect game plan. Body. That was the game plan. Break the body down. Landing beautiful body shots. Um, then when he kind of started picking up the timing and he landed some good shots, I still felt good. I still felt very strong. I felt like I was hitting with him hard shots and starting to slow him down. Uh, been told that you know the sides were, were, were getting raw and you know the red marks were, were making effect. And then yeah, like I said, he, he did catch a nice shot in the back of that equilibrium shot and um, you know shows the warrior I am. Got a little bit buzzed, but kept fighting on. But it did change the fight a little bit. It did change my momentum and he started picking up on that momentum and my timing and then I, I pushed hard in the mid rounds I think seven eight yeah we still land some good shots we started getting our timing I started faking a lot more and making him hesitate but then he picked up on it again and that's that's a guy who's had so many you know amateur fights and 16 17 world title fights well this was you know my, my, my fifth you know in a row so um it is what it is you know uh, of, of course my you know my pride is hurt I never want to be stopped but um you know, we went out against you know one of the all-time greats, future Hall of Famer, and Hamer, uh, future Hall of Famer, and um, you know I'm still here. Cambos is still alive, still you know battling on. When when that when Lom is on his game, when he's at his pinnacle, and I think tonight you saw one of the great performances. Even now at this stage of his career, one of the best performances of his career. 
There's a reason they call him the Matrix. His, his movement and the angles are just almost impossible to prepare for. You could try to bring in people of the same style. You could try to replicate things in sparring. But until you're in that ring with him, I mean, just tonight, some of the ways he moved, some of the angles he gave, I don't have any idea how anybody could deal with it. There's a reason why he had the amateur and pro career he's had so far, because he is a tremendous talent. And I think we did show a lot of the, uh, the game plans where he did make them angles and the movements slid out and try to mirror him, but you know, then he started to catch on and you know, as he'd step, instead of me firing off, he was firing off some shots, but a lot of them, you know, well, I caught well too, so you know, it's a fight game. You know, at the end of the day, there's no excuses. Yep. Like I said, we can't turn around and fault anything we did. Um, Coach Anton and Ramon, obviously, and myself, we spent, we pretty much sat and watched all the sparring and, and, and obviously we, we knew the game plan. We flew in guys from Russia, Venezuela, New Zealand, and some sharp amateurs. So we can't fault one thing that we did, but once again, we were so confident we can beat Lomachenko at his own game. And the guys that we used, uh, basically 400 amateur fights in Russia, same style as Lomachenko, 2.0, Artur when we brought him out, and the other guys, and that's why we were so confident. It's just unfortunately, like you said, George, you get in that ring, under those bright lights and everything's going okay, then something changes and Lomachenko goes a gear, another gear, and he, and he starts to hunt you down a little bit more and George has come back to that corner and he's just saying, I'm a warrior, I'm gonna keep going. It's George, yes, we understand you're a warrior, mate, but at the end of the day, the warrior doesn't sit in the middle of the ring and just go toe to toe. That warrior's gotta, <laughs> that warrior's gotta, you know, execute the game plan as well. But I know just, George just loves the blood and guts, but the simple thing is I wasn't gonna let my boy get hurt. Um, and I could see with that shot, um, I was just about to throw the town. The referee kind of just called it at the same time as I threw it. And the most important thing is he's healthy and, and he gets to live, you know, fight another day and he's, he can go to his children and, he's, and, and hug them. Um, and, and the thing is we brought a spectacle like this to Perth, uh, sold out arena. I was just told that we've topped the uh, UFC's record. So we hold... <laughs> We hold the record now for the biggest uh, attendance at the RAC. Um, and I've got to give a lot of credit to DeBella Entertainment and Lou DeBella, who we've been working with since 2018. And we've had a lot of highs and we obviously had the lows, but this is a high as far as I'm concerned because it's Lomachenko in Australia. No one ever thought we'll do that. And, um, and also I'm grateful to, to Jim and to Anton, uh, the yeah. corner. Um, you know, one of the most important, I've been in support a long time and I've seen too much damage to too many fighters. And when you took the, the first shot to put you down, would have killed most people. And I don't know how you got up. And I really don't know how you got up. And I was sort of thinking to myself, I really hope, because I saw you also sort of going for the towel as you were. Yeah. And, and I, um, I had that Gaddy mentality straight away in my head. I no, you would have kept going again, until you couldn't. But, but, yeah. but you know what? You, you want to work with people that understand that the fighter's life, their well-being, their health is paramount. It's more important than anything, right? I mean, if you make money and you become some kind of a legend, but you leave without your marbles and you can't enjoy your children and your family, then what's the point of it? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I was very grateful that, that there was a responsible corner and management that did the right thing for yeah. the fighter. And like I said, George is such a true warrior. The first thing when we jumped in that ring, when it was all, the referee had stopped the towel and gone in, he just said to me, I hate getting stopped. You know, I, I never thought I'd get stopped in my career. I, I just, I'll go 12 rounds and lose, but, you know, getting stopped, it's, you know, I'm disappointed. And that's what he was saying. He was more disappointed about getting stopped in the 11th rather than basically going to the judges and obviously not getting the results. So that's the kind of guy he is. But one um, thing you could be damn sure of, a Spartan warrior goes down on his shield. Oh. Goes out on his shield. And, 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 yeah. and tonight, you know, you should be proud of the fact you went out on your shield. And I'm just proud of the, the two guys that are there, Anton Karushin and Ramon Matthews. And Anton, I know you're probably thinking, well, what went wrong? Um, nothing went wrong. At the end of the day, everything was right. It's just when the fighter's in that ring and, the, and he's got the opponent and we all can do what and say what we can and you're doing all the instructions and Ramon, because you're the lead trainers, George is in there and trying to execute it and it's not happening. That's just boxing. That's the way boxing goes. I've got to give credit to, to especially, obviously, Ramon coming over, but Anton, how we met and, uh, you know, what we were able to do, you know, in the training camps, the two training camps, you know, you put your 
your life on hold and um, I appreciate it. sure yet you know for me I'm just um, proud of how today was you know like I said I take a lot of um, you know honor and pride fighting a guy like Lomachenko and when we look back in history you know Lomachenko is going to go down as one of the greatest fighters you know in, in history not only as an amateur two-time Olympic gold medalist but as a professional and um, you know something to be very proud 11 rounds 11 good rounds with him and yes land my own shots he landed his shots and you know, like I said, went out on my shield against you know a, a true champion. But again, you look back at the Lopez fight, the the Haney fights. Um, you know, they've been big fights. And it shows the kind of warrior I'm. I've stepped to the best of the best continuously. So I'm, yeah, I'm not sure. For now, I enjoy the moment. I enjoy being able to top the record for boxing. How good boxing and and we beat the UFC record. So um, that's that's a good feeling. That's a that's a plus. You know, after uh, obviously you know losing the fight. Look, oh, I've got a beautiful family, beautiful kids. Um, you know, I look at home and every single a Every boy. fighter in the stage of his career that George is, is at right now, after a fight like this, where you've had a huge event, a huge buildup, a worldwide attention on it, um, no reason to make any decision the night of a fight. You, you, you go back to your family's yeah, Mother's yeah. Day, let him spend Mother's Day with his, his wife and, and... I think that's just, that's you, just know, you and I talking right. behind the scenes, yeah. and he takes... Take, take some, he takes some time and think out. about it. He has every, you know, the options all lie with him, and, and he'll know what's right for him after he's had a chance to, to think about it. No pressure, no, no, no need to rush anything. Thank you for reminding me. Happy Mother's Day, obviously, to my beautiful wife, my mother, my grandmothers, and uh, to all, all the uh, mothers uh, celebrating this beautiful day. And by the way, Australian boxing should be grateful to this man to my right because he's brought the attention. Seriously, you know. He's brought the attention of the world, you know, to big events here in Australia. People now know Australian boxing's in a good place. There shouldn't be any exclusive TV deals, but that's a whole other thing. But um, yeah, true. <laughs> but in terms of uh, of what the you know the, the willingness to fight anyone, the, the the pressing desire to bring big time boxing to his people, the Australian people, um, he Australian boxing owes. Uh, a lot to, to this guy right here. It's, it's, that's the truth, you know, like uh, we talk about all these other guys and they're going to fight this mega star and this mega star and he's going to fight him if, you know, if he beats him. But Cambosis has fought the mega stars. You know, I think I get a, uh, you know, people forget that, you know, the Lopez, the Haney and uh, obviously Lomachenko. These are the mega stars. These are the pound for pound fighters in the world. So um, there's one thing saying it and obviously the media and you guys saying it, but there's one thing doing it. 70,000 um, plus people have seen yes. George's three fights on Australian soil. I mean, that's pretty amazing. That's and, an amazing. And, and I've got, I've yeah, got to thank, I've got to thank, obviously, the, uh, you know, the fans, the Australian fans, and, and all the Greeks as well, and everyone, you know, all in Australia, you know, we're, we're united as one, and um, you know, I appreciate all the support and all the media too. You know, I sometimes don't get, you know, my, my, my justice in the media, unfortunately, but um, you guys really turned up for this fight, and I really thank, you know, all you guys for, for supporting me. And, and we'll see what's next. Yeah. And you'll take your time over it too. Yeah, George, mate, you've had the two big fights in uh, Melbourne. You've had this fight here. Uh, is Sydney on the cards to bring you to your hometown? Uh, yeah, possibly. You know, I, I had my plans in my head. You know, I had such a good preparation and everything was so good. And I just had that confidence. I was, this was not an act. This was not, uh, you know, a little bit of doubt. No, there was no doubt. I really, truly believe, and every single one of us in our team truly believe we're going to beat this guy. Um, unfortunately, yeah, it, it, it didn't happen. And, um, we'll have to wait and see, you know, L like we said, and like uh, Lou and my father said, right in this moment, you know, we've just done it, we've just, you know, top of the, the biggest attendance here at the RSA Arena, and we just, you know, went 11 rounds with, uh, you know, one of the best fighters of all time, a guy that was compared to as to, to Muhammad Ali, you know, so, uh, you know, we'll see what's next. Just Maybe one last thing too, I want to thank the Western Australian government yeah, because yeah. they really desperately wanted a big event here. They wanted George Cambosis and Loma here. Um, they did everything to make it easy for us to come here, and uh, thanks very much to Perth. Been a tremendous host city, um, great, great place to visit and great place to live. And thank you to everybody involved on uh, behalf of Perth and the Western Australian government. Yeah. yeah, and that's the key thing you just said there. Will he go to Sydney? 
I mean, a lot of people don't understand how this all evolves. And, per, and, and, and Lou just nailed it by thanking the, the Perth government and Western Australia, you know, and I want to thank him as well because these events are so big that you need the financial backing by the governments. And people ask questions, why isn't George fighting in Sydney? He's a Sydney boy. Why is he fighting in Melbourne? Why is he fighting in Perth? Well, it all comes down to the government supporting the event. And that's why congratulations to Western Australia, the Perth and Ruta Sapiota, the, the, the Minister of Sport and everything else. Uh, and if Sydney, you know, is interested and we've got something lined up, Lou, well, we'll talk to them next. But there is, there's a lot of moving parts behind the scenes. It's not like we get to choose where we go or Lou gets to choose where we go. It's whoever supports these mega events. That's how it works. You know, and a lot of people don't understand and they ask me a lot of questions. I go, mate, there's a lot that I can, you know. And I've got, I got to thank to obviously, you know, Devil Entertainment, Top Rank, Top Rank, uh, TEG, Duco, Ferocious Promotions, yeah. you know, and obviously the Western Australian Government, you know. All these parties, you know, play a huge part in making such a successful event. Yeah, main event, KO, everyone KO. involved, we're all partners in the business crown, RAC, everyone involved in this and that. That's why it's so successful and we packed it out and basically we've broken records, crowd attendances, and I'm sure the pay-per-views are going to be good, you know, and uh, the arena was full. So it's been very successful. We just didn't get the result we wanted. That's all it is. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. See you next time.